Hi there, thanks for joining. My name is Ramon Recuero and I'm the technical lead for the Model Explore team at Looker. Today, I'm excited to share with you all the recent developments of the IDE. First of all, we're gonna cover how the IDE works and why it's important. And then we're gonna talk about all the recent changes that we introduced this year. Let's recap quickly how Looker works. Looker's mission is to deliver rich data experiences for all of our users. Looker can pull information from many different sources, from applications like Shopify, Intercom, or Miss Panels, to different databases like Redshift, BigQuery, or Snowflake. Then, the secret sauce of Looker lies in the modeling layer. Modelers can create a single source of truth, a single repository of models that then is going to be used by all the business users and analysts. Using these models, business users can leverage visualizations to deliver data insights, insights from the main users. This is why the IDE is a core component of this modeling data layer. Let's recap what's an IDE. An IDE is a development environment for all your development needs. In this case, all your data modeling needs. This is our Looker IDE, in our case, fully web-based. Our North Star is to provide modelers with the tools to create, modify, and delete views, explores, and models. Our first theme for the IDE is around modern software workflows. We are bringing the best practices from the software world into data. The analytics and data world have struggled for years with many problems that have already been solved in the software engineering world. There is this saying in the software engineering world that walking on water and developing software from requirements are both easy if both are frozen. But software is always changing, it's always evolving. And the same is true with data, it's always changing. So for be able to move, we need to be able to adapt, to catch bugs, but without reinventing the wheel. Data modelers are suffering from many similar issues. Data modelers need to create models that support many different use cases, many different visualizations. And this requires creating SQL queries again and again that in the end end up looking really similar. Also, it is hard for modelers to collaborate with other modelers on queries and also with data analysts and business users. Our goal is to shorten the feedback loop, the data model creation as much as possible. And for that, we're bringing the best software practices to the data wall. Software practices like version control, testing tools, deploying tools, monitoring tools. By applying all these best practices to the data wall, Looker dramatically improves the efficiency of the data modelers. Here you can see the full list of features that we have brought from the software engineering wall. Regarding development, first we have a fully web-based IDE, so you don't need to set up or install anything to get started. Then we have brought the best features from Git, but simplified, so you don't need to worry about all the complexity. Then we also help you bootstrap projects with our code generation tools. And that's not all, we also have many other tools that help you test your project. For example, like syntax checkers, linters, validators, and data tests. And the same for deployment and monitoring. You can see how we support the, the needs of a data modeler through the whole development lifecycle. Our second IDE theme is simplicity. Software systems over time they to become really complex. We have been working really hard to bring you a lot of features, but will reducing cognitive overhead. We're simplifying these workflows so you can get most of the value, most of the use, with just a few simple core options. One of the mottos we follow is that everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. In the software world, when you start adding features, it can quickly get out of hand and complexity starts growing and growing. Our goal with the IDE is not to create the best software IDE in the world with the most features, no. 
Our goal is to create the best ID for you that serves all your data modeling needs. Data experiences that are easy to develop, easy to maintain, easy to deploy. Going back to our ID, we have worked really hard to bring you the best practices from the software engineering world while keeping the complexity down. In the ID, we have a core guiding flow that helps you set up a project and create a Git repo and guides you all the way until the moment you are ready to deploy to production. In the last few months, we have made a lot of changes to make this core flow easier. And now let's talk about what's new, about all the new features that we have developed this year. In the first half of the year, we released a couple power features. Automatic dependency management, and then advanced deploy API. Then in Q3, we created a new object browser, and then we released a whole new version of the ID. Let's go over all these changes one by one. Let's talk about our biggest change the new ID or ID 2.0. We wanted to redesign the whole ID to solve three important problems. First of all, there were a lot of loading transitions. Second, we wanted to simplify and clean several workflows. Finally, we wanted to increase the responsiveness of our UI and US. If you have visited the ID before, you probably know there was a lot of loading. For example, if you wanted to change the name of the project, First, you needed to go to a different page, project settings, which meant loading. Then you change the name, and then you wanted to go back to development, which meant more loading. This whole flow could then be completed in less than seven seconds. And it was the same for other workflows, like searching or replacing files. We have fixed all these workflows and grouped them under the same page. Secondly, we overextended the life of many components. What started many years ago as a menu with just a couple options quickly became out of hand with more than 10 or 20 options. A perfect example is the Git menu on the left. You can see there how you have many different options ranging from creating a branch, pulling from Git, running data tests, or seeing your commit history. All these options create a lot of cognitive overload for the user. We clean them up, organize them, and simplify them. Finally, we have modernized our tech stack to provide you with a faster and most responsive user experience. You can see how quickly now you can navigate between files and folders. You can also check on the sidebar on the left how now you can switch between different parts of the ID. You can go to your project settings, to search and replace, to, to your Git actions, just in the, same, in the same section. We have also released the object browser. If you have a project with many files, you probably experience how it's really difficult to remember in which file, in which view, you created this dimension. It's really difficult to find where things are. That's where the object browser comes into play. It groups all the objects, all the definitions from all your project into one place. And best of all, by clicking on an object, it will take you directly to the file and the line where it is defined. We have also completed a couple major features for power users. Until now, if you had a project with remote dependencies, you needed to go to your manifest file, know exactly which commit you needed to update, and then write it on the file, and then deploy the project. Right now, with this feature, if a dependency has been updated, you will get a notification, and you will be able to update these dependencies with just the click on a button. We are bringing again the best from the software engineering world, the best practices from NPN and Jarn. We are gonna create a manifest log file that helps you pin your dependencies to a specific version. We have also added a new advanced deploy API. Several of our customers have more than one instance because they wanna separate their development, staging, and production environments. Until now, that meant that they needed to create a different repository for each of these environments. Now, with this, they can have just a single repository that works for all the environments. Using this feature in the UI, they can only merge to master. 
And then they will need to use the deploy hook, the deploy endpoint, to deploy to production. And just one more thing. Before I finish this presentation, I wanted to leave you with a few words from our founder. Our founder, Lloyd, often mentions how creating software is a great act of empathy. We want to let you know that we are not done creating the IDE. We know how critical it is for your daily tasks. And we know how many people rely upon these models. We know that we have a lot to improve in terms of performance, in terms of usability, in terms of user experience. We want to highlight our commitment to advance and improve the IDE to make your development experience better. And that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day. Thank you.